I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to have some game film playing in the background while I go over my film notes. And I'll start and stop where I feel needed, and we'll just see how it goes. This episode, I'm going to start with Northwestern running back Evan Hull. I'm going to remove myself here from the screen, and we will get going. First thing I want to say about Evan Hull is when I jumped into the film, I was a little off put by his running style, and I think that's because, to me, he is a little stiff in the upper body, and it's as if almost all of the movement is coming from his legs, and I think at times that can hurt his ability to deceive defenders, but you watch him here, and it doesn't really impact his effectiveness. So, you know, as I watched him, he grew on me a bit. I'll say he exhibits above average footwork, which contributes to his ability to make defenders miss, and you can see that right here on this play. He can find those tight spaces and those holes. We'll see this from the end zone angle, and I like this play a lot because you can see he has really good field awareness, good awareness of defenders, and right off the bat here, you see that almost before anything even happens, he notices this defender right here, able to make a juke move, miss, sees the next one, gets hit, good contact balance, gets out to the edge now. Here's where I think it can break down a little bit for Evan Hull. You know, he has the edge. He can just go, take that, gain as mu many yards as possible, but he's looking for a little too much here, maybe overextending, maybe believing in his uh, ability to make defenders miss too much, and he tries to cut back inside and runs into a pile of defenders. So I think sometimes he can overextend and get lost in the sauce there out on the edge. But here we're going to see a strength in his game, his receiving ability, which pops in in the spreadsheets, 21.9% uh, uh, max team receiving share. And this play is really great here. I, I love his extension on this catch and his ability to gain yards after the catch as well. We're going to see it again from the end zone angle. So I'm going to slow it up here. You can see what I'm talking about with the extension. Nice screenplay set up. And you see the ball is coming out a little high. He doesn't need to body catch it. He has good hands. We can see that here. Extends, catches the ball. Eyes up field. Little juke move. Jump cut. Make defender miss. Love it. So there's a lot to like about Evan Hall's game. He does appear to exhibit pretty good contact balance. But I will say, I think that he's a little heavy up top. And at times, he can let his footwork get a little sloppy. His gate get a little too narrow instead of having a more low center of gravity. And uh, it kind of negates some of that contact balance. Now, I like this play here a lot. We can go back and check this out. Now, I like it for, for a couple reasons here. Now, one, he makes a good move, makes a defender miss, shows his good receiving ability. I do think he looks a little like Austin Eckler here. Now, uh, this, is, this is against Nebraska. Now, what would he look like against NFL talent? Not sure. But I do think that you do see some of his lack, his lack of acceleration and speed on this play, even though he makes the defender miss. Watch his, his, the, the plotting way that he gets out of this. Right? Let's go back one more time. Okay, I think his footwork is just a little heavy here, a little heavy-footed, right? He's, a, he's able to make the defender miss and get upfield, but you can see he doesn't have that elite acceleration or top-end speed. And they are just peppering him with targets right now, just over and over again. And you can see he has that receiving ability. He is a, a dual threat back, and and I think the NFL is going to like that a lot, right? He has good suddenness about him. You can see that he has a good little pep in his step, but he does lack some acceleration, right, like we said. So overall, I do think that he shows good fundamentals, but he does seem to play recklessly at times, which can get him into some trouble. Honestly, I do like Evan Hall a lot. He he fell around like 13 in the film rankings right now. I think these running backs are, are pretty tight together. I talked about this on uh, my podcast, Dynasty Underdog. I think there's a lot, a lot to like about Evan Hall here. He could be an underrated back if he gets day, you know, if he gets round, let's say, three or four draft capital. He could be very interesting. You see another nice play here where he's able to get out to the edge a little bit better than expected, I think, sometimes. He shows better bend than expected with that lack of upper body. Uh, finesse, I think, and and we'll we'll finish it off here and watch him crush it in for a touchdown. So Evan Hall, really good back. I think that we could see him be a value in rookie drafts.